Hello, I'd like to show you how to add extra video sections to an existing video using Windows Live Movie Maker. I've made a, a test video to demonstrate this and I've added some music to it. Uh, first of all, I'll play a little section of it so you can hear what it sounds like at the moment. Hi, this is Stuart Chalmers and I'm making a quick test video. So, so that's the video and what I'd like to do is add an introductory video at the beginning and some slides that I've made into a movie at the end. Now it doesn't matter where I add them on the video as I can always move them about later. And I'll add them by clicking the Add Videos and Photos button at the top here. So I'll click that and here's my intro, my 30 second intro and I'll double click that and you can see it's coming at the end but that's not a problem as I can left click it and drag it to the beginning. So now I'm going to play what we have so far from the beginning. And you can see that there are two pieces of music playing at the same time, uh, which don't sound bad together really, but it's not what I want. I really want this music to play after the music for this introductory section. And if I play to the end of that introductory section, you'll see how it goes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click Primrose Hill here, this piece of music. I'm gonna move it just after the end of the credit just into the next section a little bit. And that's because I don't want a, a really sudden change between uh, the music from this section and this section here. So I'm just gonna move the marker back a little bit and show you how that is. Hi, this is Stuart Chalmers and I make... So that works quite well in my opinion. So I'm just gonna add one little extra thing to Primrose Hill here at the top of the piece of music. I'm going to click the music tools section and just fade it in fast just to make it a little a little smoother a smoother transition so I'll move that back again that marker and we'll play it now hi this is Stuart Chalmers and I'm making a quick test video so that in fact I'm going to just move that music a little bit so there's a less of a gap there it is so let's try that now Hi, this is Stuart Chalmers, and I'm I think that that's about right. So now what I'm going to do is add the um, the end slides in to this um, this video, and I'll click the home key again and add videos and photos. And here's the movie of the slides that I made earlier. And I'll double click that, and that's coming at the end. So I'll, I'll just take the marker to the end and show you how that is. And I'm going to leave a gap at the end. And can you see, or you can rather hear, that the music stopped because the music's not long enough to cover the entire length of the video now that I've added these extra sections. So that's not a problem. I, I can easily fix this by clicking the music and then holding down the control key, left clicking the music and moving a copy of it to the right. So there it is. You can see it there and I'll just shift it by left clicking it and moving it so it butts up against the the uh, previous piece of music and if I play them together if I just you move the marker back you'll see that there's it's hardly hardly any scene between the one section and the other section of music and I'm gonna leave a gap at the end you can just hear it but it's not going to detract from the video you'll also notice that if I go down a little that that is still not enough music for this video so I'm just going to copy it to the right again and I'll just keep repeating that until I've covered the entire uh, length of the video and there you go so if I just take this marker to the end that's it and what I will do just to smooth that out is I will put in a, uh, a fade out at the end put in a medium fade out there and if I move the marker to here and there we go that's quite a smooth video now and uh, we've added the two extra portions so I hope that um, 
that tells you how to is useful and how to add extra portions of video to an existing video using Windows Live Movie Maker.